Hi everyone, it's Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do for you a what's in my bag video. The bag that I've been using this weekend is my Speedy B Prant in the size 30. I've had this bag since March of 2014. So it's been just about, I mean, over a year now since I've gotten it and it, the leather on this has softened up a ton. You can see she's full, but it's totally a slouchy, soft, soft bag. And at first I was kind of concerned about this bag softening up and slouching up like this, and I didn't like it. But as soon as I embraced the slouchiness and started wearing her long, so I wear the three part strap but just over my shoulder wearing her long and partially zipped open like this just zipped up around the corner but still open so I can get my phone in and out quickly ever since I started doing that and just really embracing the slouch I feel like I've gotten so much more wear and use and love out of this bag this was one of my first big bag purchases and I really love it. I love the shape of the Speedy. This is my first Speedy and I fell in love with it. And yeah, I'm coming to embrace the slouchiness, which is a good, you know, contrast to some of the other bags I have. I guess the Neverfull is kind of slouchy, but I have the Damier Bean, so it does keep a little bit more structure. And the Chanel Jumbo is super structured. So this is like a nice contrast. Definitely a weekend bag for me. Kind of more dressed up than the Pochette Mati, but more dressed down and more easygoing than my Jumbo Flap. And you can fit a ton in here. Right now, this is not overpacked. This is kind of like... A lazy pack I basically took my work bag minus my laptop and threw it into this and then was ready to go so without further ado let's uh, just start going through what's inside here so for those of you who aren't familiar this bag is mostly one big crevice you can see there's a ton of stuff jumbled in there's two pouch pockets over here and then a zip pocket down on the other side so in the two pouch pockets this first one I have my Hermes Bastia coin pouch and this is where I keep cash as always which comes in handy especially traveling in groups up oh, and change like that also in one of these side pouches I will normally keep my cell phone but since I recorded my cell phone I don't have it in my bag right now over here in the other patch pocket I have a small foldable tote which comes in handy when shopping because you can just bust it open and throw your stuff inside since where I live they charge 10 cents for a bag. I also use this bag when traveling with my Speedy. What I do is I unhook the crossbody strap, zip her up, and then put the Speedy in this bag um, when I go through security or before I put um, my bag under the seat. I just sit it in this bag here and tie it up and I can even like if I'm really lazy you just carry it around like this until I get to a car or a place where I can recalibrate recombobulate myself so this bag has come in a lot of handy and I think it just really helps protect the on prompt bag and also performs a nice function for shopping around and so that's why I carry it with me I only really carry it with me and with this bag because I use it as a travel dust cover. Wow, the lighting's really not good in here right now. Let me scooch back. Hopefully that's a little bit better, although I'm sure the sun will just keep moving. Next in here, I have a small water bottle from Neiman Marcus. I was shopping earlier today and I love shopping at Neiman Marcus because you always stay hydrated. Inside, I also have my trusted Chanel card not card, key holder. And this key holder has a pocket on the back that is nice to use for on the go situations. I have a ton of keys in here. And then also my car key. And when I use my car key, I just flop it down like this and bust it back up. I've shown this before, but for those who haven't seen, and this helps redistribute the bulk because this metal chain is up top. 
you know, there's a lot of bulk up here with this metal connector. And so the bulk of my key, if it were up here, it wouldn't fit and it would kind of like bulk out the whole key holder. But since using this, you know, old bead keychain, it redistributes the key bulk to the bottom so it can fold up easily without distorting the key holder very much. So that is my fun little hack on that and that is my uh, caviar Chanel key holder. Next in here, a few random things. I have my soft sunglasses case, but not my sunglasses. I am, must have, I normally walk in the house and I take them off and put them on the ledge and that's where they end up. And then when I'm running out the door, I grab them as I leave. It's not very organized, but at least I know where they are. I also have my small card holder. Now, obviously this bag could fit a full size wallet and I, this bag is where I also use my, uh, zippy organizer is that what it's called my really large Louis Vuitton wallet but since I was feeling lazy I just kept this wallet from when I switched out my work bag which this week was the GST so I just threw it in here and it works perfectly next I have the envelope from the Louis Vuitton zippy wallet this is not an SLG you can buy on its own this comes inside that larger wallet monogram piece and in here, I just have a bunch of business cards from sales associates with different information of products that I've been thinking about buying. And so I like to carry this as like a reference to different things I'm looking at and what I'm considering buying in the future and just to stay organized with different things like that. Next in here, I have a naked lip gloss. And this is the lip gloss that came with the Naked On The Run palette. And it's called... I don't know if it has a name actually. It's Sesso. Oh, it's Sesso. Huh. I thought those were numbers at first. Sesso. And it's just a really nice nude gloss. I'm wearing it right now. One of the commenters observed actually that I have very pigmented lips, which is true. Uh, so a lot of more sheer colors will appear pinkier on me, which can be fun. But alternately, I cannot wear light shades of lipsticks they just kind of make me look sickly because it's easier to go brighter and darker than your natural lip but hard to go lighter I think it ends up looking weird anyway next in here I have my Louis Vuitton mini pochette in Damier Bean with this little Japanese charm that my boyfriend gave me on it and in here I keep all of my cords and things like that it looks like there's a couple papers in here uh, purse hook type thing here, headphones, phone charger, Morphe pack charger. I really like this charger from Morphe pack because it's actually quite small and it has the iPhone cable built in to charge it. And so that is really helpful and makes charging easy. I think this has like a 60% additional battery life to the iPhone 6 which is good on the go because I'm very addicted to my phone so I'm always running out of battery. Sorry about the lighting in here. I'm just, I should close the blinds or something. The sun is like right there. I'm filming a little bit later than usual but I figured might as well film while the getting's good. Get going. Something like that. I'll just keep scooting backwards soon I'll be inside the closet making this video. And then finally in this bag besides a couple secret feminine items in the zipper pouch See, it's completely empty now. I have my trusted Louis Vuitton mini, mini cosmetic pouch in the PM size in monogram. And in here, I keep most of my cosmetics. I have this Chanel Double Perfection Lumiere setting powder, which is now the correct color for me. If you looked at previous what's in my bags, my other one looked quite dark and I was rematched. And so now I have that and I really like it my normal green tea blotting papers for when you don't need to add any more makeup. You just need to take a little bit of oil off. These are really great. I've really been enjoying those. My normal nail file, a couple packets of toasted rice green tea because I love having tea on the go but can be a little bit picky when it comes to choices. 
Cold Calm, I've talked about this before. This is like a homeopathic cold remedy. I swear by it, but I don't want to necessarily endorse it because I'm not sure it's based on any science. It might just be all in my head. So we'll move on. A few makeup items. This is the Glossier Balm.com Balm. I love this. This is great on your lips. It's just super easy. Another thing that I'll do is my cuticles get really dry and gross, which I don't want you to inspect them too closely now that I've said that. But this balm is great. Just like rub it on your cuticles if they get a little bit dry or like your elbows. Like it's combination like all over lotion and lip balm. So I really like that it's multifunctional and it has no scent and it's just really easy and really high quality. I really liked that. Next, I have the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream Butter Gloss, which I was wearing a couple days ago. And this is in Amsterdam. I found about this. Well, I don't know if it'll focus from Emily Clark and it looked so beautiful on her that I had to get it myself. It's really creamy and really nice, although it is kind of drying. So if you have dry lips, make sure to exfoliate and moisturize beforehand before using this. But I really like this and I would say for the price, you know, give it a go. NYX is pretty affordable. Next is MAC Brave. This is like standard your lips better, a little bit darker. I'm pretty sure I'm wearing this underneath the naked lip gloss right now, but it might have worn off from earlier. And I like to pair that with Soar, which is MAC lip pencil, very similar color to the Brave. And I have a little NARS long wear black eyeliner just in case I need to do touch ups or anything like that. What else? And then all of my embarrassing things, like a shout wipe to go because I'm always getting food and wine and sriracha and whatever on my clothes, my inhaler and my EpiPen because I, this is how awesome I am. And yeah, that is what I had in my Louis Vuitton 30 Speedy Empreinte, nice and slouchy now. So I've been wearing it with the long strap, just long on the shoulder, a little bit open, uh, just kind of slouchy and casual, cool hippie rough style. I've been loving this bag. Just the hardware on this is so much more beautiful and substantial than I feel like on the Neverfull or anything like that. It has some wear on the feet here, which you probably can't see because the lighting is so tough, but this leather has really just held up and gotten more beautiful and taken on some great characteristics and still smells. After a year, it still has that same great leather smell and I just, I'm in love with it. And if you're not into that kind of leather chemically smell, this is not the bag for you because it will smell forever. It's so awesome. So yeah, a little, just like all the details on this bag. I got it hot stamped and this pull tab is just so much fun. It makes me so happy to wear. I have a lot of great beautiful bags but for some reason this one just speaks to me and I think that's the most important advice I would give to someone shopping for luxury goods just because this bag makes me so happy and works for me and is like totally everything is my everything it doesn't mean it will be the same for you but to go out and try and find a bag that makes you feel that way that makes you excited to use it that makes you smile every time you see it that makes you feel like a hundred bucks every time you put it on it sounds so cheesy but that's true and that's why we're into luxury bags and that's why you know we youtubers make videos that's why I wanted to make videos just to help people find that feeling in their bag which I think is possible and it doesn't matter how much it costs or where it comes from if it gives you that feeling then I say go for it and live it and embrace that and share it with people it's fun yeah that's my heartfelt I got a little emotional there about my speedy yeah this is my speedy I named it Lord Voldemort because it's black and I'm a nerd and it's on prom yeah so I hope you enjoyed that what's in my bag uh, let me know if you have any questions down below, like this video if you like what's in my bags video, uh, subscribe if you would like to. Thank you to all my current subscribers, new and old. I love you guys. I think I have the best subscribers on YouTube because they're just awesome. But yeah, that's me. Uh, have a great night, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye!